guys it's your girl tasha coming to you guys with a informative video so a couple of you guys have been asking me for a dedicated apple shape video so i have a lot of new subbies a lot of you guys have been asking me about tips and tricks because i know a lot of you guys are binge watching me you may not have gotten into those videos that i've done before to answer some of you guys questions but it is time for me to do an updated apple shape video because i haven't done one in almost a year and that is my highest viewed video i think it's like at 5600 views and i get most of my subbies from there i think i got like over 300 subbies from that video so it is time for me to do a apple shape update video session 103 because <laughs> it's gonna be the third the third cut so if you're new hey boo my name is tasha i focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle mainly fashion plus size fashion apple shape fashion so if you're interested subscribe baby you're gonna love it here you're gonna love it here don't forget to follow me at tasha that b styles so let's get into the informative portion and then we're gonna get into these looks okay, okay so first thing i want to talk about is confidence a lot of you guys that are new started messaging me on instagram and tiktok about confidence after i did my swimwear video okay so the number one question that i get is how did i gain my confidence with this body type in particular so the short answer i'm going to give you guys the short and the long answer the short answer is i don't care about what people think about me physically or personality wise either i don't care in general and i've always been like a free spirited person when it comes to my body pretty much like as a kid like i would just take my clothes off child um i don't care about people seeing me i would have my blinds open walking around in my house with a t-shirt and some underwear on child i i i, I don't care <laughs> okay now was i a little nervous with doing the swimsuit video yes and no yes because it's on a broader scale where thousands of people can see it across the world because it's being shared and being viewed and being pushed and all that type of stuff but overall in general i don't care <laughs> and the way that i look at it as i'm gonna i'm fat so if I go outside literally with a trash bag on, you still know that I'm fat. If I go outside with what I want to wear, I'm still fat. So if I'm still fat regardless, then why am I conforming to what society feels like I should wear? So when it comes to my looks, my confidence has always been on 100. Probably because as a kid, I was always told that I was beautiful one of my cousins was like she wanted to have a daughter that looked like me and then as i started coming into my looks you know like middle school high school and like different things that guys are attracted to me for then in my adult life you know i've never had an issue with dating or being approached or dating the type of man that i wanted to date because baby if i show you the, the type of men that i pull <laughs> baby so confidence has never been um an issue for me but when you talk yourself out of doing something because like a lot of you guys that we've talked in the dms and i may have done a look with like a crop top or whatever the look is and you may say oh i wish that i could wear that but i don't think that it flatters me but how would you know if you haven't even tried it because a lot of you guys haven't even tried some of these looks you like them but you're scared to try them so in actuality you're self-projecting on yourself you're self-projecting negativity on yourself so stop talking yourself out of things you haven't even tried if you have these items in your home then recreate the look and nobody's going to know sis if it doesn't work or not but you you don't gotta go outside <laughs> just see and you might actually like it so i'm going to give you guys a story about how i even started wearing crop tops. okay so with the crop top thing which i have a look in here that has a crop top in it so with crop tops three years ago no tasha was not wearing crop tops okay 
<laughs> Tasha would not have thought that she would put her body ever in a crop top. Just like Tasha never thought she would put her body in bikinis. But I did. In that swimsuit. Because I used to always buy one pieces. And then when I did that swimsuit haul, I was like, oh. It's bikinis forever. <laughs> She's never going back to one piece. Ever. So, with the whole crop top thing. I want to say like 2018. I went out. Uh, I went out for New Year's. So one of my um, friends. We're not friends anymore. But we went out for New Year's. And I had wore a black body con dress. This cardigan was like this like waterfall situation and some over the knee boots and i asked her like you know what are you wearing so she was like she was wearing a crop top these high-waisted pants and whatever shoes she was wearing and so she was coming to my house and was gonna leave from my house to go to where we was going to and we're pretty much like the same body type same size whatever so i was like you wearing a crop top and she was like yeah and i was saying the same thing that you guys were telling me in my dms that I can never see myself wearing a crop top. She was like, girl, if you can wear a crop top, she said, if I can wear a crop top, you can wear a crop top. Now, she was way more um, heavier chested than me. So when I saw her in a crop top, when she came to my house, I was like, it don't look bad. So what I did was, went on Fashion Nova, and I ordered this three piece set, and it had a crop top, the leggings, and a cardigan. And when I put it on, I was like, I can wear crop tops. So, if you never try it and you just assume that it's not going to look right on you because you're plus size or your apple shape or you got a fuka, whatever the excuse is, you got to try it and see. Now that I know how to style my body, back then I just got a crop top just to see. And I didn't get the crop tops that I feel works the best for me. So, for apple shape, I personally feel like we need the longer cut crop tops that kind of stop right here. And then you can wear a high-waisted jean to meet in the middle where you have like a little slither of midsection showing. And I prefer the knitted material crop tops because they're not clinging, it's not attaching to your back fat, side rolls, whatever. It lays really, really nicely on the body. So you want to do longer crop tops, knit material is preferred or a wide cut shirt like a satin wide cut shirt which i have an example of that as well so let's get into the next thing that you guys asked. The next thing that you guys asked me was about the blazer situation which we're going to go over the blazers again okay so when i did my last video which is my h&m video um a lot of you guys messaged me about that orange blazer um because it is boxy now that is a double breasted blazer, which typically does not work for apple shaped bodies because it's basically like putting a square on top of a circle. Apples were round, <laughs> okay? We're round, it is what it is. And double breasted blazers are boxy. However, comma, double breasted blazers will always be a thing for me. I only own two. But I like them because they give fashion. So if you like streetwear looks, if you like high-end fashion look, like I'm going to New York Fashion Week or I'm going to Miami or I'm going to Cali, like I'm that girl, it's going to give that vibe. It gives all that because how it's structured. But if you just want a blazer to wear a blazer, that's not the blazer that you will pull to just do a traditional blazer look. You will want to do a straight cut blazer with a closed in lapel that falls in a V-shape, which I will show you guys that as well. Another thing that you guys mentioned um, to me is how come I don't do short cut blazers that stop at the waist. I would never do those because... For me, being short and being apple shaped, I would never get something that stops at my widest part of me. So me getting a blazer that stops exactly right here where I'm the fullest in my belly is going to draw attention to that. So I rather do long line blazers that elongate my frame. The exception to that is 
getting a hourglass cut blazer, which I have two, and I'll show you those as well. However, comma, hourglass cut blazers are not the type of blazer that you would find, even on the straight side of fashion. Hourglass cut blazers are usually in like the high end fashion world. They're just trickling down to mid range fashion. However, there is still a very hard cut of blazer to find in any tax bracket. Okay, it's just not. It's a it's a very sought after blazer that's not readily available, but it does flatter and give shape. So if you can find an hourglass blazer, then that would be the exception to the rule because it's going to pull you in at the waist. The last thing that I want to talk about, which is also going to be in this video as well, is denim. When I did the Abercrombie and Fitch video, some of you guys messaged me about that as well. And well, not particularly about those jeans, but about 100% cotton denim. So, because I mentioned in that video that I'm converting all of my denim to 100% cotton. And the reason being, now I need y'all to think, I need y'all to sit back and think. Skinny jeans or jeans that have a lot of stretch in them is really made for curvy girls, right? So with apple shapes, you know, most of us don't have a butt. Our hips are narrow. And if we do have a butt, it's a very small, but it ain't no, it ain't fanging, okay? <laughs> we ain't fanging, okay? So, if you notice, when you wear stretch jeans in your apple shape, or inverted triangle, or a shape that has little to no curves, when you first put your stretchy jeans on, they fit amazing, right? After an hour or two, they get soggy in the butt you're constantly pulling at them they get soggy in the legs you're constantly tugging at the jeans because they no longer fit and you don't have the shape to make them conform now with somebody that <laughs> is singing you know what i'm saying got booty hips and thighs they're they're fine their jeans are not getting soggy so on the flip side of that i found through me doing all these hauls <laughs> and try-ons that 100% cotton jeans, one, pulls me in at the waist and they make my hips poke out a little bit and they give me like a little lift in the back to make it look like I have a little butt. Now, if you think about it, if you watch other YouTubers that are straight size but they're curvy, the one thing that they complain about when they buy 100% cotton jeans is that it makes their butt look smushed. Okay, so if you lack having a butt, hips, and thighs, you might want to get you some 100% cotton jeans. And I would recommend you investing in some quality um, pair of jeans. It doesn't have to be the Abercrombie because, girl, I know they are expensive. However, American Eagle has really, really good jeans. Those were the first pair of jeans that I invested in, which a lot of you guys purchased those jeans, the mom jeans. And then I recently got into Abercrombie and I feel like they are a step above American Eagle, but Abercrombie may not be in everybody's tax bracket because those jeans are $100 and I got them on sale for 75. Whereas American Eagle jeans, they can range between 35 to $56 and you can get them on sale for like 30, 25, 28, $29, but they're a good high quality pair of denim. <laughs> okay, so that's why I'm not, buying any more like super stretchy jeans because they get soggy on me and once i notice the difference in the denim i'm not tugging at those jeans that are 100 cotton throughout the day like i can get up my jeans are in place i'm not i don't feel like a lack of confidence in the back where i'm i got like like i got a diaper on or something back there baby she's never going back to, to stretchy jeans I'm, I'm just not going to do it so try it Okay, try a pair of 100% cotton denim and then we pour back. You guys let me know if you got soggy diaper butt throughout the day. <laughs> so let's get into these looks that I put together for you guys. The mindset that I was in for these looks in particular was brunch. 
you know, on Sundays we brunch. So that's the vibe that I'm going for. And I'm giving you guys a couple of different things. I'm giving you guys some color. I'm giving you guys some prints. Um, I'm giving you guys a little bougie, bourgeois looks. So let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about okay, the looks. Okay, you guys. So what I want to do is start at a base. Now, I've done this format before in my buying and styling basics video. So when I saw what the base, we start from ground zero pretty much. And then I show you guys how to turn something so simple into a stylish outfit. So what we're doing right now is I found my biker shorts. If you watch my <laughs> Asian video, I was looking for my day on biker shorts. So these are the biker shorts from Fashion to Figure. I've had them for about three years. These are the spandex ones. Um, they give you like a little bit of compression. They're super high waisted. So I like these. And I think I have them in a zero, either a zero or a one. Um, and then I have on this black like spandex type of tank top from H&M that is a square neck, which is old as well. So super basic, right? And you're probably like, Tasha, what are you about to do with this outfit? Because I don't even see where you're going with it. <laughs> so one of the looks that is super on trend right now is wearing a unitar with like a oversized button up shirt with like either sneakers or heels you can do either or however i'm not buying no unitar okay because i need to go to the bathroom job so if you have a black tank top and some biker shorts you can create the illusion of a unitar so what we're going to do is tuck the tank top inside okay and then we're going to go with my infamous belt from Eloquy and the belt is out of stock at Eloquy and out of stock at um Ashley Stewart as well so we're going to go ahead cinch in the waist give the illusion that we have on the one piece right now, I recently hauled this shirt for you guys from ASOS, this animal print shirt. I just felt like this would give more interest to the outfit since it's all black. And I'm going to add my white mules. Okay. So, this is an easy way to create a fun, edgy street look with basic pieces so if you don't have a oversized printed button-up shirt that's fine you can do this with a white button-up shirt or any color button-up shirt or if you have a satin shirt as long as it's oversized and a little bit longer you can do this look so how do you guys feel about look number one it's giving retro it's giving fashion it's giving brunch it's giving style it's giving a little edge. I would pair this with my black um, clutch bag from Zara. I'm not pulling any purses because she ain't got time, okay? <laughs> so how do you guys feel about this look? You also could wear this again with sneakers. So if you ended up purchasing this shirt, um, after watching that video when I hauled it, you can do this with some sneakers. I think this will be cute with some Converse. I also think this would be cute with my Cardis if you have some Cardis. Um, I also think this would be cute with some ones. So this look is very versatile. Let me give you guys one more spin. Okay, so let's get into look number two. Okay, you guys, so this portion of the video, I had to do a voiceover because someone's alarm was just going off like crazy. <laughs> so in this clip, I'm talking about doing crop tops and paper bag wasted items. So if you want to do a crop top in your apple shape, the way that works for me, and I think that would probably work for most apple shapes, is that paper bag wasted anything, whether it's shorts jeans a skirt it's very flattering on our body type 
Also, it gives the illusion of a tapered waist or a smaller waist. Also, you're able to size down in paper bag items. So if you want to do crop tops, I would recommend that you do it with a paper bag silhouette. I feel like that's the easiest way. Also, make sure that you're using the item that is looser on the bottom. So if you want to do a crop top on top, then make sure that the bottom is something that's looser. That's not adding any volume or too much attention to the midsection. Um, so you can either do like some fitted joggers or a skirt or like some 90 jeans some baggy jeans i know sometimes being apple shape it may seem that baggy clothes may not look good on us or we shouldn't wear those but okay, it so does work this look i just have on a resort top from h&m they are starting to bring these back out i got this last year i will go on their site and link the ones that they have available but i have on a resort satin top and i just paired it with my 90s jeans from American Eagle. These are 100% denim, but the the waistband is 2% spandex. So, and I still have the white news on. So, again, with 100% cotton, these are very compressing in the midsection. You can still see that I have a stomach here, but it's not the same way that it would look in a stretch jean, which I want to show you guys stretch jean that I have. I kept one pair just because they are ripped jean. I love um, distressed denim. So I'm going to show you and put it side by side so you guys can see the comparison. But it's more compressing versus with the stretch denim. You can really see the fullness and you can see like a little hip poke. Okay. So again, brunch vibes. I would wear either a cream bag or a white bag with this or maybe even like a cobalt blue bag just to add like a pop of color but brunch rides we're still doing brunch rides so how do you guys feel about this look Okay, so let me go ahead and switch into the skinny jeans. I'm going to leave the top and the shoes just so you guys can see. And then I'll put up the pictures on the side so you guys can see the difference. But again, it's a little bit more compressing and it's smoothing me out this way. When I put on the skinny jeans, you guys are going to see how my stomach is going to be more fuller coming out, protruding forward rather. So... Okay, you guys, so I have on my skinny jeans, skinny stretch jeans from Fashion Over. Now, <laughs> as you guys can see, like I told you guys, with the 100% cotton jeans, they give compression and they pull me this way. As you guys can see, you can see I'm apple. I look very apple, right? And I'm protruding this way which is what i don't want and when i'm looking at you guys straight you can see how round i am in my midsection also up here now let's turn around so you guys can see now right now they look good on the butt so i'm going to go through the blazers with these jeans on i'm not going to pull at the jeans and we're going to see how long it takes while I'm filming this portion of the video before we get like a little soggy or if the jeans shift. So let's talk about the, um, what's the blazer called y'all? <laughs> Double breasted blazer. Okay. So I ended up just going ahead and pulling the orange blazer that I just hauled for you guys. So the other thing with the double breasted blazer like i said it is boxy so the way to bring balance to something like this is to wear a slimmer pant whether it's a pant or a jean to bring back balance and then wearing a pointy toe shoe to elongate your frame also to balance out the boxiness at the top so you can wear it open but as you guys can see 
double breasted blazers are way more structured it's more so like a men's cut style of blazer so again these types of blazer gives fashion look men's wear fashion streetwear fashion um new york fashion week type of fashion edgy so if that's your aesthetic then this is just how you will make it work and you just have to get over the fact that it's a little boxy but it's still overall i still look very narrow and slim because i'm bouncing out with the shoes and the skinny jean also when you button this which is going to make you look even boxier with the, the blazer clothes you can just go ahead and belt this. So this is why you should invest in a chunky belt. Now for this look, I would prefer a white belt, but I don't have one. But this is just to give you guys a visual. So you will pull it at the smallest part of your waist. And then now you're more cinched. So now you really have balance because now you're cinched at the waist. This part is where it's really the boxiest. It really doesn't matter because we're coming back down to balance this out with the skinny jeans and then the pointy toe shoe. And then we have the structure in the shoulder, which is balancing this out right here at the hip. So this is how you can make a double breasted blazer work. This is why I have a love hate relationship with them because yes, it does add volume to our body, but if you are a lover of fashion then you can make it work and this is how you make it work so let me go ahead and give you guys a spin okay so how do you guys feel about the double breasted blazer now let me go ahead and pull the hourglass blazer so you guys can see what i'm talking i'm going to pull one that is shorter and go over that with you guys so let's go ahead and get into that but i actually like this look though this wasn't one of the looks that was planned but i do actually like this look for brunch so okay guys so i went and grabbed my hourglass blazer which this is like a shorter cut this is how long it is in the back i usually do blazers that come like about right here so as you guys can see it has that curvature on the side. That's why it's called an hourglass blazer, whereas a straight cut blazer is just straight, which I'll pull a straight cut blazer for you guys as well. So I am fine with a shorter length blazer when it has an hourglass cut because it's giving me shape and definition at the widest part of me. So when I pull the blazer back, you guys can see that that curvature falls right here at the widest part of me so if i was to get a blazer that stopped here that's not flattering because this is the widest part of my body and i don't want anything that's going to emphasize my apple shape i want to look longer and leaner and i want to give the illusion of that okay so you want to be mindful of where things are falling on you and you want to be proportionate with your styling so if you can find an hourglass blazer grab it okay it's going to really do a lot for you now when it comes to apple shape and what society feels like we should wear it's the empire waist it's the peplum tops the waterfall type of cardigans an hourglass blazer would be the elevated version of that for our body type but like i said this little bit of laser is just hard to find in straight size and in plus size you know we were the last ones to get everything but h&m um dropped this last year and i grabbed it along with the black one that they dropped last year too and i grabbed that one so just pay attention because h&m normally like refreshes their you know their stock i wish eloquy comes out with a hourglass blazer but like i said this style is just like a really high salt after cut but it's like exclusive <laughs> so if you can find one grab it it's going to be your best friend so let me go ahead and grab a straight cut blazer so you guys can see that and let's see what the jeans are doing 
So I think we're still pretty leveled. I think my butt still looks the same. We haven't gotten too soggy. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab a straight cut blazer okay, yeah, so this and is then the next outfit. So one of my subbies messaged me asking me about um, wearing color because she notices that I don't do a lot of black on my channel, which she appreciates that. So truth be told, black is my favorite color. And I used to wear a lot of black. So for you guys that are new to my channel, when the pandemic hit, I got rid of my entire wardrobe and rebuilt my wardrobe from the ground up, literally. Like I got rid of every article of clothing and shoes. And one of the things that I told myself was that I was not going to purchase a lot of black because my wardrobe consisted of pretty much of like 90% black to be honest with you guys. So that's why you guys don't see me haul a lot of black or do a lot of black looks because I will easily fall back into that, okay? <laughs> so you have to kind of like re-ramp your wardrobe or pull some of that stuff out, but I get it because I think black is a super sexy color. It's easy, it's slimming. You can dress it up or dress it down. I just love black, so I get it. I understand it, however, we can do color too. You can put color on your plus size body. Now, when it comes to color blocking, the easiest way to color block for me is staying within the same tonal family. This is a chartreuse blazer from Elegui, and then I paired it with like that Bottega green, um, you know, color that's on trend right now. So also I want to talk about these shorts as well, but first let's get back into the blazer. So this is a long line blazer. It has like a little hourglass dip on the side is not as intense as the actual hourglass blazer that I showed you but as you guys can see that it's a straight cut long line lapel and with that it gives the illusion of me looking slimmer in the midsection when you're looking at me up and down okay now just imagine again if this blazer stopped at the widest part of me that's not as flattering as on this side. So this is why I would never get a jacket that stops right here because it's gonna emphasize how wide I am. I would rather have a cropped blazer that comes up here than to have one that stops at the widest part of my waist. So that's why I don't do short blazers for the person that asked me about that. And so back to the whole color blocking thing. So if you stay within like the same tonal family, like you can do different shades of greens or different shades of yellows and greens, which those pair very well with each other, it's easy to color block that way. And then you always can bounce it out with white, okay? So I feel like this look is very mod retro. This is a great brunch look. I really, really love this look. The other thing I wanna talk about is these shorts. I got these shorts from H&M. You guys probably remember this when I did it with the, the matching shirts, a two-piece set. Invest some two-piece sets to maximize your wardrobe. But these boxer style type of shorts are very much on trend. I love them because the elastic band is very stretchy and the panel is flat. And it doesn't emphasize in the midsection. So it helps smooth me out and I don't look as round. So invest in some of these type of shorts for spring and summer. And don't forget your pointy toe shoes. So, how do y'all feel about this look? I feel like I look like a Sprite with a cute Sprite. But I actually really love this look. And when you walk into brunch, yes, this is going to be an attention grabber because it's color. But, girl, put some color on. So we got two more outfits to get into. Okay, yes, I went ahead and pulled my crop top with the matching sleeveless blazer. And I have on my Abercrombie um, 90 jeans that are 100% cotton. So this is a longer crop top, like I mentioned to you guys in the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the blazer vest. So you want to get a longer crop top, like I said, and pair it with a high-waisted jean. So the top and the jean meets at the middle. So you just really have like a little slither of skin, okay? It's not that much. I would never wear the crop tops 
that come all the way up here. Like, that's not for me. Okay. <laughs> so the longer ones are fine. The knit ones, like I said, is my preferred because they don't cut into you. They're actually sm kind of smoothing. You can't really see my back fat too much. And this is what I was talking about with the 100% um, cotton jeans where they give me like a little lift in the butt. And as you guys can see, it gives me the illusion of a hip and it's smoothing me out and pulling me this way versus me coming this way. So with this one, I would wear this with the matching blazer when I'm wearing it with denim. If I was wearing like a looser paint that was in the waist, like my um, tapered paint, and then it kind of like flows out, it's not just me here and flows out, then I will wear that without the blazer. I kind of feel like the blazer gives me like a little bit more shape when I'm doing it with denim. And just in case, you know, a little sad fat pops out, I'm covered because I have the blazer. Um, and I only feel like that with the jeans. If I do it with like the looser pant or maybe even like a paper bag something, then I will wear the crop top by itself with the strapless bra. So how do you guys feel about this look? So this is a cute and casual brunch look that you could do. Also, you could wear this look to work if you're in a dress down environment, just button up the blazer. When I get nails, it's just I can't do nothing, okay? So you can take this look into the office Okay, so let's get into the last look, you guys. The last okay, one. Okay, guys, so this is the last look. I have on this leopard print rouge skirt that I had for a minute from Boohoo, paired with a graphic t-shirt, my yellow muse to pull out the yellow in the shirt. So this is an easy way to do an edgy look. This is also an easy way to play around with print. I would recommend that if you want to get into print and playing around with print to invest in leopard print because leopard print is a bold print, but it's also considered a neutral and it works with a lot of different colors and other prints. So how do you guys feel about this look? It's very edgy. I feel like this is very like rocker girl, which is like another one of my alter egos. <laughs> But how do you guys feel about this look? And I also recommend investing in ruching. Um, that looks good on all silhouettes, but especially silhouettes that have like, you know, a fupa. You know, it gives the illusion of, you know, he ain't doing too much fupa in. But this skirt, you can adjust it as high as or low as you want it to be. I just decided to pull it up a little bit high because she's going to always give a leg, sweetie, every chance I get. So, I think this may be my favorite look. How do you guys feel about this one? So, this is the end of the video, boo. If you made it to the end, I love you. Don't forget to follow me at Tasha.bstyles on Instagram. See you guys in the next one. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I missed out on a tab collection. <laughs> that was supposed to be the next video, but she missed out on the tab collection. And it, it is what it is. So, hopefully, she drops something else. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, I am going to have a couple hauls about to come out. For you guys but yeah i forgot to mention to you guys that she missed out on his ad collection but bye y'all